and welcome to Grand Prix 2. Yes, that's right, Grand Prix 2, and we are running this game with looseless scaling on 51 or 52 frames per second. And as you can see, the game is incredibly smooth. There are no distortions, uh, not a lot of steering lag. Oh, a bit of a dive bomb there, that's alright. I will forgive myself. Uh, we are in the lead. Yes. Uh, 51 frames per second. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty much a new game. Looks absolutely brilliant. And it will be very hard to go back. If not impossible. And uh, I have to thank the, uh, a legend in the, the Grand Prix 2 community, Michael82. For doing most of the research uh, when it comes to running this game with looseless scaling, because uh, it is, it was not quite simple, I have to say. Sorry, I have to concentrate here for a while, but yeah, uh, I tried looseless scaling as you saw with IndyCar Racing One, also IndyCar Racing Two. With IndyCar Racing Two, it, it pretty much works off the bat. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. Seems there's something wrong with my setup. The car is not very good, but uh, as you can see, this is the difference. This is the original frame rate of the game, and uh, here we go back to looseless scaling. So uh, it, it it really makes a huge difference. But you have to have to do some tricks in order to make it work, and and we will now go through the setup that, that at, le at least for me and I presume for Michael82 works very well. First of all, you should change your DOS box if you haven't already. Uh, I have previously been using DOSBox ECE, but that is no longer maintained and, and not developed and you can't find it anywhere. Uh, but you should change to DOSBox staging. As you can see here, it's a modern continuation of DOSBox. And uh, basically what this does, it will give you more display options that you can activate in order to make sure you don't get any frame droppings or uh, screen tearing or such things as these that we don't like. And once you have DOSBox staging installed, uh, you should edit the config file, which you will find in th this location. Uh, the most important settings are DOS rate, which uh, you should set to 25.6, which is the native frame rate in Grand Prix 2. So these are my video output settings. So uh, these work for me, you should check them out edit if you need. The important one is here, the host rate, which I have set to 59.951, which is the same refresh rate that I have on my monitor, and this will prevent screen tearing on your gameplay. And finally, looseless scaling. This is my game profile for Grand Prix 2. You can check out all the settings here. Uh, the important one, at least for me, is the sync mode. You should disable V-Sync, because otherwise you'll get a terrible amount of steering lag, which is uh, very bad in racing sims. We don't like that. You won't be getting a lot of screen tearing as long as you change your whole strength setting in the DOS box settings. And there you have it! Uh, you should be ready to enjoy Grand Prix 2 with a higher frame rate. If you have any questions or comments or problems, just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer best I can. There's also a thread uh, on the Grand Prix 2 forums regarding the matter, uh, started by Michael82, so go check that out. I will leave all the necessary links in the description. But uh, the, in the meanwhile, I will see you in the next race. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.